how to add an event to Square. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create an event and set up the pricing of it and also how it will be. So the process is very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over square.com. Then you are going simply to sign in into your account. The uh, real URL of Square is going to be SquareUp. It is going to be named SquareUp, not only Square. So we are going to head over squareup.com, sign in for an account, and here we are going to see the admin dashboard. At the left side of the screen, you are going to see the quick access and all the products that we have. So for the events, we need to create an item. Either you are going to see here the dashboard uh, as you can see header, we can go ahead and click on an item or add an item, or we can go ahead and scroll down into the all products in case that you are not going to see that. For this case, you are going to click on items and orders, and then you are going to click on items. So basically, we are going to uh, see the dashboard of the items, and then we are going to add our event. It is going to be considered an item. So we are going to click on create item. And then we are going to see the classification. Once you are here, we are going to see the dashboard or the special tab for it. So we are going to change the item type. So we are going to click on change because it is not going to be a physical good. Now we have uh, all the type of items that we can add. From them, we have event. So even if you are going to sell tickets, it is going to be possible. Sell tickets to events and include location address as well as times. So we are going to organize here the event that you are going to present. You're going to include the location, sell the tickets, and then organize it well. I'm going to click on change. And now we are going to add the name of the event, the description, and if we have some illustrations or images about that event, you're going to put it right there. Generally, you're going to put some posters. So we are going to put the name, I'm going to click or uh, right here, for example, the event is about maybe cheese. So we are going to, to uh, type in here cheese, uh, cheese, big event, for example, description. I'm going to type in here cheese or get the AI to generate for me a description. I'm going to put here cheese event. I'm going to put here a long description. And also the tone is going to be engaging. So in here, I'm going to only get the help of the AI, but in your case, you are going to put your description, not generate it. I highly not suggest for you to do that. Only if you do not have a choice or you do not have a description. So description for this item. So I'm going to ignore that. Basically uh, the AI did not help. So I'm going to put here, this is a an event for example an event that you are going to find and taste a lot of cheese for example like that i think cheese is not like this but like that cheese instead of like this so we are going to put it in here then I'm going to let it as it is. Now for the poster, I'm going to use Canva. For example, we are going to create a little poster from Canva. I'm going to put here um, a Canva or cheese event poster. Let's see here if we have some suggestions. So basically we are going to wait in here. I'm going to get this, for example, this cheese. So I'm going to select one of the cheese, uh, as you can see, posters. I'm going to select this one. And what are we going to do in the same time? I'm going not to put the poster as it is, but I'm going basically here to create another, um, uh, let's say here, another page for it. So we are going to head over to the home. I'm going to click on customize size because I'm going to put a poster that is going to be included in a, a 1280 pixel width with a 720 pixel height. 
I'm going to create it as a normal poster. So basically, I'm going to copy all the elements in here and paste them right here. So we are going to see the difference. So here the color is set up. I think that the color is going to be not set, but this is better. So we are going to select all the elements. We're going to make them not that big. So basically, I'm going to select these. Put them in here make them bigger just like that so we are going to have these also like that just right here i'm going to put in here the kids just like that so we are going to make them a little bit bigger so we are going to put them just in here so basically like that i'm going to put these everywhere so here, boom, and you're going to put the kids in here. Like that, boom. I'm going to put the, as you can see, the separation in here. Put it like that. Get this in here and put that right away. So I'm going to put the title in here. Select this, this, and this. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. Boom. I'm going to make this uh, a bit bigger. It is a open day. So we are going to put this also a little bit bigger. So I'm going to align it only in one place. So let's put it in here. Then we are going to put this just like that. Put the line in here. Zero degree. I do not want an inclination. So I'm going to put it like that. So what I'm going to do here is click on share. Then we are going to click on download and a PNG file. I need a PNG file. So now what I am going to do is to wait for the image to be downloaded. And I'm going to drop the image in here. So basically I'm going to put downloads. This is a, uh, let's say a mandatory thing that we need. So the location, you can go ahead and add a location. The category, you can categorize this event, for example, here, uh, event. I'm going to name it only event. If you do not have uh, some categories, create them. For the event details, it is going to be here in person, of course. The uh, location, I'm going to type in, for example, here, uh, 13 Street, STR, New York, for example. And then you are going to type in the country, the street address, for example. I'm going to type in here the apartment suit, for example, just like that. And the state is going to be here uh, used or um, let's say defined by the country that you have chosen. So just like that. So we are going to put the date and time. For example, here, I'm going to put the date. Here we have the uh, time, which is going to be here 2 a.m. Uh, I think 2 a.m. is too much, but we are going to rather put it as 2 p.m. This is, I don't know, this is uh, convenient. I think the end date is going to be, uh, the event is going to be lasting three days. So we are going to put it as 12 p.m. Where is it? Here. So now the time zone, you need to uh, precise it. The options, you can add some options in here. The unit, or as you can see here, and the variation, I'm not going to add those, but I'm going only to add the price. For example, 50 bucks. You can add a sale price if you want, but it doesn't matter. So you can add some modifiers or allow some customization, but these are not going to be for our case today. You can add some custom attributes, check out behavior, you can skip items, details, screen, and etc. Where it's sold, so we are going to uh, only sell it on the website that we have. Also, you can add some channels like third party channels, and you are going to select from them like Facebook and etc. So you are going to connect your social media platforms or channels. Uh, you're going to make them as sales channels and then uh, put it right there. For the search engine optimization and social links, you can go ahead and if you do not have a public, go ahead and uh, organize them. If not, it doesn't matter a lot. So you can go ahead and put them for Google ads. This is if you are going to um, uh, perform the SEO search for it you need to set them. 
So uh, basically you are going to add them to Google Ads and you need to set up the keywords. Now for the payment links, you can go ahead and put some payment links or let them in person just like that. When you finish, you're going to click on save. And here we have created our event. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon. Nothing.